hi or hey as we say in Swedish. I'm Stina and I have just or I'm almost finished a uh, hike up in the Swedish mountains. It's a uh, four day and three nights camping trip. I've been camping in my tent. Uh, yeah, I will show you all the gear I brought on the trip and I don't go for ultra light hiking. I go for light hiking as I say. Um, there are some equipment I prioritize to be sturdy and weatherproof and feel that I feel secure with. So there are some gear that are ultra light, but others are not so light. We can start with the tent I have been using. It's the Hildeby Enan tent. It's a one person solo tent and it's very easy to pitch uh, inner and outer tent, pitch at the same time. And when you buy it, it's totally ready to use. You don't have to seam seal it and, and so on. So it weighs about 1200 grams. So it's not the super, super light, but it's still very light tent. Yeah, if you want to see more about the tent, my partner Matti has made a review of it. So I will put a link to that review also in the description. And then we can go for the boots. Also, I know many people nowadays hike with uh, uh, like trail running shoes, very lightweight. I still go for the proper hiking boots. <laughs> Uh, they are made of leather and they are sturdy, so it's very rocky in the mountains and if you sometimes you hit your toes in stones and if you only have these uh, sneaker type of shoes or trail running shoes, uh, you don't have the protection for your toes as much. And, and I also like, so you have the higher boots, so you have ankle protection, uh, so it's no risk to twist your foot. Now these are from Crispy, not lightweight at all. <laughs> and I also bring uh, camp shoes. This is Swedish, we call them Foppa Toffla. Uh, it's, uh, this is a copy of the Crocs. Uh, these are cheaper and much lighter. I think that the Crocs and I like to have them so in the camp so I don't have to keep my feet closed up in the sweaty tight hiking boots all the time. Then we can go for my backpack. This is actually a totally new backpack for me. It's the first time I've used it. Uh, it's an uh, Osprey Aerial Pro 65. So it's a 65 liter backpack. It's uh, it's not super heavy, but it's not light either. But when I have a backpack, I prefer to have a backpack with a proper carrying system and also with a frame. So it can take some load if needed. And uh, yeah, before this one, I had also an Osprey backpack that I was super happy with, but unfortunately, during the winter, I have it out in an outhouse and the mice shoot on it, so it's broken. And now I have bought this one and tried it out. And yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with it, but I will probably make a review of it later on. So this is the backpack. And here is my sleeping system. I have a inflatable uh, sleeping mat. It's from Sea to Summit. It's called Etherlight XT Air and it's a very lightweight and it's the first year I use it and I'm I'm actually very satisfied with it except for one thing. It's uh, very slippery but that you can fix with this one. It's a very light and thin isomat that I bring anyway because I use it when I have brakes to sit on and uh, yeah, I always cut it so it's not full length. So it's just and it's super light and if I put this on top of the inflatable mat, then it's not so slippery anymore. And my sleeping bag is a Seat to Summit 
flame female bag. Uh, it's a down bag and um, it has a comfort rate down to minus four Celsius. Uh, I'm a very cold sleeper so I want a warm sleeping bag and this bun I'm very happy with it. It's, uh, it's lightweight for being such a warm bag but still it's quite heavy compared to all lightweight stuff but I don't want to freeze when I sleep so I think it's about 500 grams I don't know I will write it here <laughs> so you will see how much it weighs so then we go for my clothes and I have hiking pants this time I have a pair of tights and then I hike in a the wool shirt I also have one bamboo uh, shirt that I have used so I have two shirts that I hiking in and I can switch from those both and then I have this uh, windproof very light jacket it's nice when you take breaks or also good for protection from the mosquitoes for sleeping I have brought me uh, long underwear in uh, merino wool, so pants and shirt, that's what I sleep in. And then I have uh, also a hat, a beanie, when I sleep, so my head doesn't get cold. If your head gets cold, um, you will freeze, so I usually sleep if it's not super hot outside. Uh, I sleep with that. On. And uh, also I have some panties and two pair of extra socks. And uh, all of this rooms in this bag. And with that I also have an extra wool sweater. It's a really old one I think. Oh, have some dirt on it. It's really old one I think got it from a second-hand market but it's very soft and very nice and warm and actually this uh, wool sweater doesn't weight much at all and this I also keep in a waterproof bag as my other clothes so and yeah and then we have the rain clothes of course so I have a jacket and pants and uh, these are super lightweight <clears throat> they don't sell them anymore so they are from Klettermus and a Swedish brand but uh, I don't know why they quit making these uh, but I'm super super happy with them and super lightweight so the uh, rainwear I keep in my top lid of my backpack and then we can go over to the other gear I have in the top lid. I have a rain cover for the backpack and then I have some uh, sun cream, very important. I have a mosquito net for my head. On this trip I haven't had much mosquitoes at all so I haven't used it but it's good to have if you need it. Uh, mosquito repellent spray <clears throat> and I also have a medical kit very important and another important thing is I <clears throat> on this trip I don't have any cell phone coverage at all so I brought with me a PBL this is a, like an emergency beacon so uh, if I'm coming into an emergency, I can just press the button and then there goes emergency signal to SOS. So I get help. This I also keep in my top lid. And there I also have some uh, extra spare tape for blisters or yeah, it's this tape you can also use to uh, <coughs> Uh, if you hurt your foot, you can tape your foot and or if uh, some gear is broken, you can use this ordinary tape. So it's really good to have. 
I also bring toilet paper and dog poop bags that I have for waste bags. So waste from both food stuff and, and so on, but also I use these to put toilet paper in. Use toilet paper so you don't throw it in the nature. <clears throat> yeah, and then also another safety thing. A uh, map of course, so that I keep in my pocket of the pants all the time, so I can have it easy accessible. I really like to follow the route on the map all the way when I'm hiking. And I also have a compass. I haven't been using it now. It's uh, been a very easy to follow trail along the Padjalanta trail. So. But you should have a compass, map and compass with you all the time. Then, uh, yeah, my toiler, <coughs> it is. Do you say the toilet? Yeah, hygiene things or yeah. <laughs> I have this little bag. In this, I have toothbrush and toothpaste. I have a small uh, towel. I have my glasses and I also wear contacts. So I have some. Uh, contact length things in here and a comb and so on and a little mirror of course so I can see where I put my lenses <coughs> and then I always bring uh, something many would, con would consider to be very unnecessary and heavy to carry but I always bring a good book so I have a book and I could have chosen to take a smaller lighter book but uh, now I'm reading this one and yeah I brought it so and in here in this plastic bag I also have a little notepad and a pen if uh, there's something I need to write down so yeah unnecessary but uh, nice to have I love to lay down and read in the tent in the evenings and sometimes also if you have a longer break uh, during the day it's nice to sit and read for a bit yeah then we come over to the food and the cooking gear i using two i think these are called pods so there are like uh, two pods and in these I have all the food for the trip. Now it's not so much food left. I have a gas and a stove. <coughs> this time I brought titanium pot, very lightweight. And I use a burner uh, called soda burner that my partner just bought. It's not the lightest or smallest one, but it's not heavy either. But I would say that this one and the smaller ones are so much better and faster compared. And so I don't need to use as much gas as I need to use with the smaller ones. So yeah, uh, the weight might be with the same with more gas and a small burner or the big burner and less gas. So super happy, happy with the soda burner. And uh, I eat in the pot and with that I have a foldable little spoon that I got in present as well. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, and I also, of course, have a small knife. It's a foldable knife, so knife is important. And yeah, the food is very individual. What kind of food you want or how much food you eat, so I can't tell you about that. You need to bring the food you like and so on. But when I'm hiking, I am I really love nice food. But when I'm hiking, 
I prioritize lighter weight than super luxury food. <laughs> so I, on this trip I have gone for uh, several dinners has been this um, dry ready-made uh, bags of food, dry food that you just mix with hot water. And then I have a mug, cup, uh, this I also fits into the two pods I have. And of course also a water bottle, very important to hydrate all the time. Especially when it's warm in summer. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I also <coughs> walk with a stick, hiking stick. Uh, I prefer to have one. Some people have two. I like to have one and then I can have uh, my hands free for the cameras. Yeah, and some that puts some extra kilo in my bag is my camera gear. So I have a GoPro on this trip and I bought an Insta360 camera because in the national park where I am now it's not allowed to fly with drones. So I tried to get some drone-like uh, pictures with my Insta360. And then of course I have the camera that I'm filming with now. I have a phone for see the time and also you can take some pictures and videos with this if you want. And <clears throat> extra batteries in two of these. So yeah, I think that was all. Um, yeah, my total weight of my backpack when it's packed on this trip, when I started out with all the food and everything was about 15 kilos. So think that's uh, for me I think that's a really comfortable way to carry it's not much it's not ultra light and it's not heavy so yeah I think that was all from me for today um, don't forget to check out the video if you haven't already seen it I will put the link in the description as I said and there I will also put a, a list of all the gear I have brought with me so you can see if you're interested in any of the equipment. So take care, see you soon again in one of our other videos. Bye!